Hey, Manny. As much as you uh, enjoy and thrive in the uh, big situations and the pressure situations, what are you anticipating in terms of the energy tomorrow, and how much are you looking forward to it? Uh, honestly, it's just um, just excitement of being here. Um, you know, something that we wor we worked hard as a team, as a group, um, you know, to put ourselves in this situation. So, uh, you know, obviously, um, you know, we'd love to be been playing at home, but. Uh, you know, I know we got the support of the fans and the organization back home and, um, you know, get ready to come to a, to a house environment and, uh, you know, on, on the road um, to come play a really good team. So uh, um, just go out there and have fun. Being, I think uh, we've, we've done that all year. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, it's just about going out there and playing baseball and playing the best baseball we could possibly play. Your fifth postseason, how much of those experiences help you? What have you learned about yourself maybe in, in terms of those situations? And what can you share with some of your teammates? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> I mean, the biggest thing is just, um, you know, the game doesn't change. Um, it's the same game. You still got to go out there and make 27 outs to, to try to win the, that game tonight. And, um, you know, ultimately it's about, um, you know, just paying, it, pay, paying, paying attention to details. Um, you know, I think that, that, that that's the biggest factor of it is, um, you know, little things are, 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 are um, you know, going to show the most, and you got to be able to, you know, make those little things count, you know, whether it's getting a guy over, making an out, but getting the play, moving the guy over. Um, you know, these situations are not going to come, 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 come easy. So whenever the, the opportunity arises, um, you know, just going back to the basics of playing baseball. And, uh, you know, we've been doing that all year. So, um, you know, we just got to continue doing that. What do you love about this club? You, you've been a part of different playoff teams before, but what's What's so unique about this team? What do you love about it? Just the whole group. I mean, we've, we've all connected as, 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 as a whole. Um, you know, we've, we've all struggled. We all dealt with some adversity. We've all, um, you know, had up, ups and downs as, as a team. So, uh, you know, I think we've, the biggest thing is we just, we just stuck to the same role, you know, um, and the same goal at the end of the day, which is to get here, to get to the situation, and uh, put, put, put ourselves in, in a good one. So, uh, you know, we, we thrive as a team, and you know, the, the guys that are that are in there, we're all pulling for each other, and um, you know, ultimately, that's all that really matters. Over here to the right. Hey, Manny, a two-part question about Buck Showalter. Uh, one, as someone who played for him for so long, what is it about him that allows him to connect immediately with teams when he takes them over? And secondly, what's it going to be like competing against someone with whom you competed with for so long? Yeah, um, you know, obviously, you know, me and Buck go a long way. Uh, so, um, you know, kind of know know his tactics a little bit. Uh, you know, know how he he, he kind of likes to go about things. Um, but you know, ultimately, he's he's he's, he's a great manager, and uh, you know, there, there was there was no doubt when he when, when he signed here, what he was going to do with that with that ball club, and and for sure he did it with with, with the team that they got over there. So. Um, you know, ultimately, it's, it's about going out there and, and worrying about ourselves, worrying about what we could possibly do to, uh, you know, try to win that game. And, um, you know, we, we know that we have our hands full. And, um, you know, we've had our hands full all year. So, uh, you know, ultimately, it's just going out there. And I think it's just, just taking in the moment, enjoying this, enjoying this to the fullest and, uh, you know, making the best of it. AJ Casavo. Having played for Buck and now having played for Bob, how would you kind of Compare and contrast the styles. You, you can, you never can. I mean, I think that's that's that's. I mean, they're they're both, you know, managers managers of the year. Um, you know, I think they've 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 gone a long way. I think they're both unique in their own ways, and um, you know, uh, you know, you, you you really can't choose one. I mean, I think they're 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 both great managers, and and it's shown, um, you know, with their records and and how they carry teams, and um, you know, but obviously now getting to know getting to know Bob pretty well and. Um, you know, seeing a different side of him, he's he's definitely a guy that, that cares for his players, and um, you know, brings the best out of his players every single day. So, uh, you know, I've been lucky to have some pretty good man managers. So, we hear a lot about how steady Bob is. How important was that for this particular team, and how does he kind of show that steadiness? Well, I mean, it's huge. I mean, he's he's under control the whole time, under the game. So, you know, we we know that even when we're down, you know, we still have peace of mind that we got there and compete. Um, you know, because he gives us that confidence every single day. You know, you know we know he's going to make the right moves. Um, you know, it's just a matter of us going out there and, and giving him the best that we can every single night, and he brings that from us. Kevin Acey. 
I know it's just about playing baseball regular season, postseason, but everyone talks about how intense this is. And what, what do you like about the postseason? Just the crowd. I mean, everywhere you go, it's going to be, you know, the crowd's going to be involved, um, you know, from, from, the, from pitch one. So I think that's, 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 that's the beauty of postseason baseball is, is the energy that, that's, that's coming to every ballpark, um, you know. Walk hard game, DS, you know, championship, World Series. They're they're bringing it every single day, and that energy is always going to be in the ballpark. And I think that's uh, that's something that you feed off of, and and something that you really enjoy and you take it in. Um, you know, ultimately is about just getting those seven, 27 outs. Um, you know, but obviously, you know, those all those things always uh, you know play into a factor. That's why you always want to be playing at home. You know, obviously your home field advantage is always always the best. But um, you know, just uh, just just enjoying enjoying this is it's, it's always great. Bryce Miller. Manny, um, you talked a little bit about Buck Showalter, but w what did you learn from him, if anything, specifically? And what was the relationship like? You're around a guy 162 games a year for that long. I mean, he taught me how to post up every single day. I mean, no matter what. I mean, as a kid, he, he gave me the, the opportunity to come out there and just, uh, you know, postseason environment and um, just go out there and play play baseball. Um, you know, I think that was, that was the biggest thing as, as a young kid. So, uh, you know, that gave you the confidence to to be who you are and obviously with the with the group that we had there um you know very similar to to, to one that we have here as well so um you know that's why we're able to you know what, what i learned there was was bring this to to this organization bring this to, to the team that we have here with some of these young players that are stepping in some of the young players who are um you know being they're, they're being a big part of this team so uh you know learn, learn a lot learn a lot from 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 people in the organization and um, you know, now you could, uh, you know, take this and, and put it into this one as well. What do you think when going, he's been around this game long enough that he actually managed Bob? I saw point. that this morning. I saw that. Did you know that before I this morning? I did not. What's your thought know. on that? That's, that's crazy. I mean, it's, it's, I know Bob talks a little bit about, about, about catching a little bit and, uh, you know, his, his times when he was playing over the last couple of weeks. And, uh, you know, I mean, that's just, He's been he's been he's been around the game a long time, and now they're both managing in 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 a, in a crucial uh, you know walk hard game. Um, they've been doing it for a long time against each other. I know we we played against them um, uh, a couple times, so uh, you know we we got we got two of the best managers going head to head uh, you know over the weekend. It's gonna be fun. We have time for one last one in English, then we'll take a, couple, a few in Spanish, then we got to get them out of here. Manny, it's been a decade now since you made your postseason debut. Um, how have you changed as a person? How have you matured as a leader and improved as a player over that 10 year span? Uh, you just evolve. I mean, I think that's just the, the, the human nature of things. You learn, you learn from mistakes, you learn from, from good, you can learn from bad. Uh, you know, I think it's, it's, it's all about you evolving. I think this game is evolving. Um, you know, this world is evolving as well. So you just gotta, you know, take the good, take the bad and, and, and just go from there. But, um, you know, when, when you're 20 years old, coming to postseason, I mean, I just wanted to play baseball. I was just glad I was in the big leagues. I wasn't even thinking about facing Darvish as in the, my first playoff game. So, and Darvish is throwing tomorrow. So, um, now we're on the same squad. Um, so, I've, I've seen what he does in the postseason. It's it's not it's not easy. We we, we couldn't get to him. Uh, but, um, you know, I think uh, you know, just over the time over over the years, you just you just learn from 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 your peers. I think that's the biggest thing about about baseball is you know there's so many different um, opinions, so many different people, so many different personalities that you learn from everyone, and um, you just you just create this bond with, between players, and uh, you know that's why why this game is is, is, a, is a family as a unit overall. Um, so uh, you just you just take that into consideration. You learn from it, and you just try to be the best person you could possibly to, uh, you know to the guy next to you. All right, we're going to switch over to Spanish. We got time for uh, one or two. Uno o dos en español, Pedro. Eh, Manny, cuando firmaste con los padres, fue pensando en esos momentos grandes, el escenario grande. ¿Cómo tomas esta oportunidad que tienes de frente para guiar a los padres a play? Sí, eh, sabes, estamos aquí en, en, en evento, pero fue un año diferente. Ahora vamos a jugar con fanáticos adelante, vamos a jugar con, con, con una ciudad atrás de nosotros. Eh, sabes, tenemos una mejor oportunidad este año. So, eh, sabes, cuando yo firmé aquí, esta este era la, la, la meta del, del equipo, de la organización. Y, y aquí estamos hoy. Eh, eh, para dar un chance mañana para, para, para tratar de, de llevar otro 
otro, otra serie para atrás para, para San Diego y, ¿sabes? Nos sentimos bien como equipo. Bueno, y con el, la experiencia que tiene esto en postemporada, el picheo también, eh, ¿cómo afrontan la, la serie sabiendo que tienen buenas oportunidades entre, contra los Mets? ¿Sabes? Nosotros nos sentimos bien como equipo. Eh, al final de día tenemos que empezar entre, entre los, los jugadores que, que, que tenemos allá adentro eh, y tratar de jugar el juego de nosotros, no tratar de cambiar. Eh, jugamos juego el año completo como equipo y eso es lo que vamos a seguir haciendo. Okay, uno o dos más aquí enfrente. Mari. Mari, definitivamente tú has sido vital para que el equipo de los padres esté hoy en la postseason. Háblame de la ventaja y de ventajas que tiene el equipo de los padres contra los medios de Nueva York. Eh, nadie tiene ventaja ahora. Eso es lo, lo mejor desde de la punta parada. Todo el mundo está igual ahora. Estamos 0-0, todo el mundo está 0-0. Todo el mundo tiene todos los peloteros saludables para, para tratar de ganar para su equipo. So, eh, ¿Sabe? Al final de día tenemos que jugar como jugamos el año completo eh, y nosotros tenemos lo, la, la pieza para hacerlo. Y la última, Daniel. Manny, un placer. Manny, el, el, el equipo está ya en postemporada. El fanático de San Diego esperaba ese momento, para eso te trajeron. Ahora añaden a Juan Soto. ¿Cómo están viviendo ese momento ustedes? ¿Sabe? Eh, nosotros. ¿Sabe? Comenzando en print training teníamos una, una meta para llegar aquí. Eh, obviamente eh, queríamos, quer, queríamos llegar. Llegamos eh, en, el, en, en, la, en julio, traímos a Juan Soto, ayudamos al equipo a, con, con Bell, con Heide, con Drudy, que ha sido clave pa, para este equipo en la segunda mitad. Eh, ¿sabe? Los números no, no, no enseñan tanto como, como deberían, pero yo creo que lo que ellos hicieron para este equipo en la segunda mitad ha sido clave pa, pa, para estar aquí en esta oportunidad hoy. So, eh, ¿sabe? Mañana tenemos un, un pelotero que te, tiene experiencia, ganado y, y sabe manejar estos momentos. So, eh, con el line que nosotros tenemos, con el equipo que tenemos, eh, tenemos toda la confianza de, que ¿sabe? podemos hacer una cosa buena y especial aquí. So, eh, últimamente eso es tratar de ahí jugar pelota. Eh, Tratar de ganar mañana, el próximo, y sacar los 27 a en el primer juego.